Okay guys, so I just thought I'd take a quick video uh, for you just to show how the tank's coming along. As you can see, it's crystal clear. It's decorated, looks pretty good. I have the one power head in there, or not power head, uh, circulation pump. I have my other one up here, that's out of the 55 that I took out at 950 gallons per hour. Per hour. Um, I just feel like that's going to be a little bit too powerful for this tank. I like, kind of like the calmer effect. And that's just a 500 gallon per hour one right there. So I kind of like the more uh, calmer uh, effect where the fish are just doing a gentle swimming rather than have to like really <clears throat> um, beat their tails and everything to uh, get going into the current and they can swim and not be blown away. But as you can see on here I have the C220 canister filter by Marineland. Uh, S455. Uh, I got a sump on here with the trickle filter. Um, it's just a test experiment to see how it's going to work. Uh, I just want to see if I could first of all build a DIY overflow and have it work where if you turn off the power and you turn it back on, then it'll automatically restart itself, which it did, and that was successful. So I plan on getting a bigger water pump and uh, eventually a bigger sump for this tank. Um, but yeah, it's just a test and it worked out great. Uh, there, as you can see, is a lot of debris built up in that for about two days worth of running. That is awesome that it's catching all that because that means that stuff I'm not going to have to clean out of the tank and I have to constantly clean it. So if it can catch it and I just have to change out the filter pads, it's a lot better than doing a big water change. Considering I have like virtually no time ever because I don't have school and everything else. And then right here you can see there's the return. Uh, it's just a little, it's not that powerful to return. Um, but it does do a good current. So, yeah. And this... All these pipes are glued together except for this very bottom angle, so I can twist it and everything, and, it, and to direct the flow where I want it to go. Right now, as you can see, I just have it going like along the front of the tank. Um, see, so you can kind of see it. Yeah, so yeah, just give a nice calm effect. I got the two power filters on here too. Marineland uh, 200 gallon power penguin bio wheel. I know I said that backwards, but whatever. There's no bio wheels in either one of these. It's the penguin bio wheel 350. There's no bio wheels, like I said. Just and this one is just uh, activated carbon and some dirty filter pads I need to change out. So yeah guys, uh, that's about it. I'm running the T5 light fixture on here with the uh, Marine Lando bright LEDs. Um, LEDs are just for basically the nighttime effect because it's just the blue LEDs that work. And then you can see there's just the one strip of white LEDs right there. But none of the other ones work. So that's why I had to go out and get this new T5 fixture. And it is working awesome. There's two 26 watt bulbs in there I believe. Um, I think... I always say it wrong. I call it a full spectrum, but uh, I don't remember what it's called. It's, it's kind of like a full. It, it's the pink bulb, whatever the heck the pink bulb was called. And then there's a 67k, well 6700k, 6700 uh, Calvin's um, for the other white light bulb, which is a, simulates sun and can grow algae and live plants and stuff. So, yeah, that's the 75 though. 85 is doing good too. I'll do an update on that later. Don't want to make this video too long because it's a pain in the butt to upload if it's really long. So, yeah, see you next video, guys. Adios. That's the 75.